back to my channel. So in today's video, as you can tell from the title, I am doing a sweet peach, Too Faced sweet peach inspired makeup tutorial. Um, I recently received the entire collection, which was amazing. You guys saw me unbox it on Snapchat. I was literally freaking the f out. Um, but in this look, I used everything basically in the collection, including the eyeshadow, the glow kit, the uh, Papa Don't Peach like blush, and then I also used the lip gloss, which is right over here. So I used everything so that in case you guys wanted to pick anything up from the collection that you have a sort of look to get some inspiration from, and maybe you can recreate this as well. I don't know if it was accidental or not, but they sent me two Sweet Peach collections, like entire collections with the huge, big ass boxes and everything. So I'm definitely going to host a giveaway for you guys. I don't know the details yet, so make sure to wait till the end of the video to figure all of that out. Um, but if you guys do want to see this makeup tutorial, then just keep on watching. Um, but real quick, if you are just checking out my channel, my name is Aisha, welcome. Um, I'd love it if you subscribe down below and like this video if you guys enjoyed my makeup tutorials. I know I haven't done one in so long, but I had so much fun creating this look for you guys. So I'm definitely gonna have more in the future now that I finally have my apartment situated. Um, but if you wanna see this video, then just keep on watching. So I'm starting off by priming my eyelids with the Too Faced Shadow Insurance and I'm just smoothing that all over my eyelids with my finger. And then I'm going in with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Dark and I'm just using a ble uh, beauty blender to um, kind of just cover any dark circles on my eyes and then I'm setting it with the RCMA No Color Powder. And then I'm going in with the exciting Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette and I'm taking this shade called Puree which is a really nice warm brown shade. And I'm using my Morphe, I forget what number of brush this is, but I'm using this really fluffy blending brush just to blend this all over my eyelids. And as you can see, I'm focusing this on the outer corner because I really want this sort of blown out, really smoky, warm look on the outer corner. So um, just keep blending. And then I'm taking the shade Summer Yum, which is a really, really, really pretty rich orangey brown shade. And I'm taking this on a fluffier brush. It's a little less dense than the last one I used. And I'm just using this to really intensify that sort of orangey peach shade in my eyelids. And I'm kind of using the sandwich or like halo effect to put this on my outer corner and my inner corner and kind of avoiding the center of my eyelids. And then I'm just blending that in just as I did with the other crease shade. And then I'm taking the shade Candied Peach, which has a bit of sparkle in it, but it's pretty much just all matte. It's like this really pretty matte pinky peach shade, and I'm just tapping this into the center. I do go over in the end with um, a couple different colors, but this is just to get that intense peach shade. Um, and then I'm going into this Tarte Mannequin, what was this called? Man Eater? Man Eater palette, I believe. Um, and I'm taking this rich brown shade. You can use any brown shade you have. I just used this one because it was right beside me um, and I'm taking this on a more dense pencil brush and um, intensifying that sort of halo sandwich eye effect um, and I'm using my beauty blend my beauty blender I'm using my blending brush to make sure there's no harsh edges and just to diffuse those colors really really nicely and then I'm taking the shade Bellini it's almost like a duochrome rose gold peach shade but I'm just tapping that over um, that candied peach shade that I put on earlier and then I'm going over with the shade Lush and I'm tapping that onto the exact same shade. So basically this kind of creates like um, almost like a duochrome look but I'm focusing this just on the very center. And then I'm going into the two shades Nectar and Peaches and Cream and using this on my brow bone just to give a really nice highlighted look and then I'm using my blending brush to diffuse um, the crease color with the eyebrow color. So I felt like the look needed a little bit of sparkle and glitter, so I'm taking this um, Heavy Metal Liner, I believe it's called, by Urban Decay. I love this, and I'm tapping this just onto the center of my lid, basically where I put those middle eyeshadow shades, and this just gives a really, really beautiful um, kind of like glimmer and shimmer <laughs> to the eyelids. I don't really know what I'm saying at this point. Um, and then as you can see, I'm just kind of intensifying that halo eye a little bit more with um, the deeper brown color, and then I'm using my blending brush to blend all of those colors together. And then I'm going in with the TARDIS Double Take Eyeliner, and I'm at first I just kind of drew a thin line, but I ended up just creating a little bit of a winged liner afterwards, so um, you can just go ahead and do that. 
And then I also just flipped the eyeliner around and used the pencil part to tight line my eyes. And then I added these lashes off camera. These are the Flirt Lashes by Tarte and I absolutely loved them. I thought they were going to be a little too dramatic but they just kind of tapered out so beautifully. And uh, yeah, this is just my little uh, turn up sesh. And then to prime my face, I used the Too Faced Hangover Primer. You guys know my obsession with this. And then I also went in with a bit of color corrector. This is by Wicon or Wison. Um, I don't know, it's an Italian brand. But I just used this to correct my hyperpigmentation and then right under my eyes. And then I went in with my foundation. I used the Lancome Tintadol 24 hour makeup and I just used that with my beauty blender to blend it all out. And then I took my Tarte Shape Tape in the shades Dark and then I believe the other one is Deep Tan or something like that. Um, and I used Dark just to conceal and then I used the lighter shade to highlight a bit. You only need a little bit of this stuff. Literally a little goes a really long way as you can see. Um, but I'm just blending that out for a really nice highlighted under and then I'm setting my under eyes with the Ben Nye Banana Powder. Um, and then I also use this to, um, I didn't really bake actually today, but I use this to set my, what am I doing now? Nope, I'm, I'm using more concealer um, to highlight the center of my face, I guess. And then I'm going in with more banana powder to set all of the places that I concealed. And then of course my smile lines and I make this crazy face to set those as well. And then I'm going in with my bronzer. This is the Too Faced Dark Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. You can tell I'm using a lot of Too Faced just because I figured if I'm already using the peach palette, I might as well continue using the other stuff, um, which by the way, I still really love. I love Too Faced. But yeah, I'm just using this to bronze my face and put a little warmth back into it and give myself a nice bronzy look. And then I'm taking my Sleek Contour Kit. I haven't used this thing in a minute and it felt so good to use it. I like fell back in love with it, but I'm just using this to lightly contour my face. I haven't been contouring contouring a lot lately, but I don't know. I just, I like the bronzy look. But anyways, I'm contouring today and I also snatched my nose because why not? I haven't done this in a minute as well. And then I'm basically just repeating the steps that I did in my crease um, below, like on my lower lash line. So I use the shades Puree and Summer Yum um, just to kind of smoke that out. And I don't know, I just love the look of a smoked out lower lash line. So I'm using kind of a pencil brush for that part. And then I'm taking the two shades Nectar and Luscious and putting this into my inner corner to add some brightness in there. And then I took my Makeup Geek Nude Liner and I just kind of lined my waterline to brighten up the eyes a bit. And then I used my Essence Forbidden Volume Mascara to put that on my lower lash line, or lower lashes. <laughs> You guys know you do this while you're getting ready, don't even lie to yourself. And then I took this Sweet Peach Glow Kit and I used the middle shade which is like kind of like a, like a blush. Although I wasn't really sure if it was showing up too much on my skin tone but now that I see it on camera it kind of does but I ended up just going in with the Poppadome Peach Blush as well and I put that on my cheek as well and I just, I really liked it. These kind of have like shimmer to it so it kind of just gave my face an overall glow and um, I don't really like too much blush to begin with so I kind of liked how this just added a really nice flush of color to my face. And then I'm using the highlight. I wasn't sure if I was gonna like this highlight but I ended up loving it. I find it's very finely milled so it kind of just looks like a really, really natural glow. It's nothing too much, but I love that. I don't really like the extreme highlighted look on myself. Um, but I went down my nose and then uh, my Cupid's bow as well. What I always do is take my damp beauty blender and just kind of dab over the places that I put highlighter just so it like melts really nicely. It's a really good trick if you find that your highlighter looks very ashy on you. And um, then I took my chestnut lip liner, of course, what else am I going to use? And then I used the Anastasia liquid lipstick in the shade Ashton. Love love this color you guys will see me using this a lot in the next couple videos i'm obsessed but i just kind of put this all over my lips and it's a really pretty peach shade i thought it went nice with the look um and i do go over with a gloss afterwards um which you will see in a second So 
So the gloss that I used is the Papa Don't Peach gloss uh, from the Sweet Peach collection. These are called like their lip oils or cream lip oils and they are so beautiful and so moisturizing. I thought it just added the perfect peach color and shine to this look and I was obsessed and it smells and tastes amazing just saying so if you guys are looking for a really nice gloss that isn't too pigmented but you know still does the job then i'd highly recommend these but um yeah i just went in with my setting spray and that's basically it so this is the completed look. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Now moving on to the giveaway portion, which I'm really excited about. I know you guys are too, so let's get on in to all the details. So I'm gonna be running this giveaway the same way that I did my 40K subscriber giveaway. So I'm gonna have a link down below and you're gonna have to click that and it'll explain all of the rules. But basically, you have to be subscribed to this channel, like this video, um, and what else? That's basically it. Um, if you want extra entries, you can follow my social media accounts like my Instagram or my Twitter and this is international so everyone can enter um, the box did come in like the massive sort of sweet peach collection box but that thing is like so so heavy so I'm actually gonna take out all the individual items and like repackage them into another box when I send them out to you um, just so that I don't have to pay like over a hundred dollars worth of shipping because yo girl is broke from her Europe trip okay <laughs> let's be serious but um, good luck to everyone who enters. I told myself that I wouldn't be doing any more giveaways just because the last giveaway I did, although, you know, it was really successful and the people were so happy to win, I found a lot of people actually ended up unsubscribing from my channel and unfollowing me on all my social media accounts afterwards. Um, so to increase your chances of winning, then also comment down below. This isn't going to be a random winner. Um, this time it was a random generator last time, but I actually want, you know, people that watch my channel and that love my channel to win this because it's such an amazing collection I'd love to give it to someone that truly deserves it comment down below why you want the sweet peach palette and then also how you found my channel I'd love to know because I'm I'm curious okay I'm just curious I hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video bye